President Obama is less than happy about the way things are going on Capitol Hill for his massive stimulus package. He has called the delays inexcusable and irresponsible. My next guest may not agree with the president. New Jersey Congressman Scott Garrett joins us now from our studio in New York. Congressman, look, uh, not one Republican voted for what came out of the House. The Senate took it and they squeezed around on it and, and punched on it and added to it and took away from it. And now it's probably going to come back to the House of Representatives. Based on what you're hearing initially about the Senate package, does anything that you've heard make you feel better about spending this kind of money? No, because if we look at it, it's really just what uh, President Obama said the other night to the Democrat conference. It's all about spending, spending, spending. And that really hasn't changed. It went from 800 up to 900 and now back to $800 billion. And it's going way through too fast. Remember, think about this. A couple of years ago, we talked about the proverbial bridge to nowhere. And that, I think, we spent maybe a week or two discussing. And that was about $127 million. Here, they want to do $800 billion in less than a week's time. So uh, too fast, wrong way to do it, and it's not going to solve well, the problem. Well, you just said the, the two words that uh, we're asking our viewers about today. Is this okay. going too fast? Absolutely. Put it in terms of uh, you or I or families or businesses across the country. You know, if a family wants to buy a car, let's say, you might spend a couple weeks thinking about it for $20,000. If you want to buy a house for two or three or $400,000, you may spend several months thinking about it. If you're a business person and you're going to invest in your business, you set out a plan and you spend, you know, weeks, months figuring it out. What is Congress doing? We're, we're going to spend $800 plus billion, not of our money, but of your money, the taxpayer's dollars, and we're going to rush it through without any real committee process, without any opinions or debate or what have you in committee, and uh, it, it's just the wrong way to handle it. Well, hold on a minute. If, if a, a couple of Republicans vote with the Democrats in the Senate and they send it back to the House and, yeah. or it goes to conference and finally a measure passes and all the Democrats vote for it, it's happened. It's going to happen, isn't it? Well... This is a democracy, and it hasn't happened yet. And there's, as you say, there's three Republicans right now who are saying that they're leaning to or made a pledge to uh, go along with this, um, but the vote hasn't taken. This is a democracy. I imagine the people in those respective states should probably be on the phone as you and I are speaking, calling up their uh, senators and saying, you know, why do you think that the way to solve this economic problem is to take money out of my pocket, send it down to Washington, and have a bureaucrat in Washington decide how to spend it? Can't I decide? I had to spend my own money better than any bureaucrat or politician yeah. in Washington. Yeah, well, I know that people on Capitol Hill are getting creamed with phone calls right now. I tried to get a hold of some people on the Hill. All you get is busy signals when you call up there. So, and, and that and that has that has an impact. We've seen that before right. on other huge issues. The the phone banks are swamped, and sometimes and finally some some of the politicians listen. Okay, Congressman, thank you for joining us on this Saturday. And by the way, you've been looking at pictures of what's happening on the Senate floor. You saw Charles Grassley talking about this $827 billion package that is now under consideration. Uh, there should be another headline in our newscast today. Hell has apparently frozen over because the Senate is in session on a Saturday.